Hi there. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to display MySQL data with the help of PHP. First, we are going to create MySQL database. If you haven't used my PHP MyAdmin before or any other database tool, I suggest you to use PHP MyAdmin. You can add the name of database, encoding tag as UTF-8 Unicode CI. or any other specific encoding that applies for your case. As you can see, I have created test database with demo as its table. Demo has three columns named ID, which is a primary key and basically going to auto increment whenever we are going to add data with the help of form or any other way. We are using name and email to collect the personal information from user. We are going to use PHP to display this data on web page. So let's take a look at code. As you can see, I have first connected to the database, then used the query, then the re results are stored in the result and then I have looked through each result and displayed the result on the web page. Here we have used MySQL connect function to connect to the database. It accepts credentials that are required to connect to the database. If the credentials are wrong, then MySQL connect error will be thrown. I have also used a query variable to perform a query on the database which is select from demo we are going to select all the rows in demo table then perform this query on database i have used connection and query variables with the help of mysql query now result variable will store the what uh, the query results into it now we are going to loop through each row from the result mysql fetch array accept result variable and that result will be stored in a row variable which we are going to use to access each element in the table like id, name and email. Once all the results in the table are displayed, while loop ends. And this is where we are going to close the connection with the help of MySQL close. We are using con variable for that. When you type con variable here, connection will be closed and in order to create another query you have to first start again from the first if you are performing more than one action on your database in that case i suggest you to comment this part so that you can perform additional queries on your database and you are not going to close the connection but it, it is a good practice to close the connection whenever you are not using it. That's it.